Well, when you look at a bouquet of irises, it's not hard to see where this flower got its name. The word iris is Greek for rainbow, and they can bring a rainbow to any flower garden if you know how to care for them properly. For more on that, we turn to gardening expert Jenny Rosencrantz with the University of Maryland Extension office. And, and I'm not surprised you have a beautiful bouquet of flowers there. Well, I, I just, I had so much fun. It was like, okay, which ones am I going to take? And they're so beautiful. It's like, okay, I can't choose, but I'll take them all. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. But you know, you're right. Irises really do have the entire, almost the entire rainbow of colors. The only two colors that they don't really have is a real red. They have pinks and they have maroons, but they don't have a true red. They have lots of blues, as you can see, lots of yellows. They have a pure white one. And they have a purple that is so dark, not like this, but really, really dark that it almost looks black. Oh, wow. And so they call it the black iris. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and they do well here on Delmarva, don't they? They do. They really love the fact that we have such well-drained soils. So if you have really sandy soils or if you have heavy clay, you can go ahead and amend it or just make a, a raised bed or something like that. And these do really well. Part of it is, is they're... Um, they actually grow on top of the surface of the soil. I'm going to pick up this one plant right here to show you all. See, this is a, a rhizome, and a rhizome is a, a type of modified stem. So stems like to be above the ground. Yeah. And the roots are underground. You can see a bunch of little roots here. And uh, these roots need to be underground, but so you won't, you can only plant it like half underground and half above the ground, which makes it kind of fun. But then again, they thrive here on the yeah. Eastern Shore, absolutely thrive. We took a walk through the woods behind our house the other day and just out in the middle of the woods was this beautiful purple iris. Well, actually they prefer sun and the longer it's stayed in the woods, the, the less hardy it's going to be and, and that sort of stuff. But actually, if you want to go ahead and take a part of it, and bring it home. That's really the best way to treat irises oh, really? because they, they really prefer to be divided and shared. These are wonderful sharing plants. How do I take care of it? I'm gonna go ahead and, and do a real quick transplant thing. Okay. So here's an iris right here and I have a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna just sort of pull it apart. As you see, it's not that difficult to do. And uh, then I have, you can see, um, that there's like a small section here and a bigger section here. And I'm just going to cut off this old part right here so that it's smaller. What you want to do after that, you want to go ahead and clean it up, get all the old leaves off. I love this doing it in my kitchen because my kitchen's so easy to clean. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the other thing is, is if it has any um, leaves that look kind of funky or something like that, you want to cut those off too. Okay. So let me go ahead and just do a little bit more like that. There we go. And uh, so what you do is you can see that there's a soil line here and where the roots are, you want to plant it so that this part of the, the rhizome is on top of the soil and this part is underground in the soil. Okay. And then you want to make sure that there, you have some space between this one and the other irises. Give it about a foot to, because they will grow. I mean, I have some that the, the bunch is like two feet to three feet wide. Wow. You want to plant it in full sun? You want to water it? And just enjoy it because next year is going to give you lots and lots of flowers. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, there is something that they, they can get a disease, uh, right? Yes, yes. Um, let me find one that has a, the leaf spot disease. Let's see. Oh, here's a perfect one right here. Go ahead and cut it right quick. Okay, see how this leaf right here has got funky colors and all that? Yep. And it's brown at the tip and kind of yellow. This is a, a leaf spot fungus. And uh, it's caused because the fungus is in the soil, bounces onto the plants every time it rains. That is often in the springtime. By the time we get into warm summer days, the fungus doesn't work. So what you want to do is when, when after the spring is done um, and the flowers are pretty much done, go through your irises and just cut the, the leaf off just like this hmm. and, and throw it away. I would not compost this. I would uh, throw it away. Yeah. And then you'll have beautiful foliage like this. Wonderful. Well, Jenny, thank you as always. Good information. Thank you for having me and thank you for letting me share my flowers. Well, thank you for sharing. <laughs>